Here we are at the Trump rally in support for Donald Trump. Yonkers Royce tries to be as impartial as possible, as fair as possible. Pachi, tell us a little bit about you. What's going on here today? What's the objective? What's the goal? Tell us anything you want to tell us. So we started this four years ago. We had three amazing, huge rallies. We started here at the Marriott, ended up at Playland. We had probably 600 patriots supporting Trump back in 2020. Everything was beautiful. We had great feedback from the community and it was really a special time. We all believe the election was stolen. Many of us were down at January 6th, including myself. We were gentlemen. We were there three times prior to that. There were no problems. Some people got out of control. We think that the government was behind all of that. We don't trust the government. Nobody should trust our government. But we are now back. This is our first rally. We're gonna have two more. One is coming up October 13th. It's gonna start out of here, at the uh, 660. White Plains Road, going through the town, villages of Westchester County. And we have another one, November 3rd, two days before the election. We hope everybody comes out. We're peaceful, good people, we're patriots. We love this country, we love each other. That's what we're all about. Now, Patsy, uh, I assume you have a, a social platform where people can go and learn more about you. How can people get there? What are the names of those platforms? Well, we've actually got Drag, MAGA Drag, the internet, that's one of our websites. We've got TakeBackAmerica.com, Westchester County. I'm sorry. <laughs> TakeBackAmerica, Westchester County. Dot com. That's one of, another one of our websites. And uh, we're on social media, Instagram, Facebook. You can just find us over here. But it's important that you, Ben, great man here. We want to get the word out about your uh, podcast, whatever you have here. So we hear a lot about you. And uh, God bless you and God bless what you're doing. This is good to get the words out to the people that need to hear what we're all about. And you know, Patsy, I got to say thank you for inviting me to come and cover your event. Because look, we all have personal opinions. But one thing that I believe it's been fair and square. Give everyone the same platform so they can speak and articulate their point of view. And that's why I am here today. And that's what it's all about. We need free speech. People are hating on each other for no reason. You give us a fair platform. We got somebody coming out. And thank you, Ben. Very good. We're going to announce you right now, all right? Thank you. Jimmy! Jimmy! Here we are at 660 White Plains Road for this rally in support of the former President Donald Trump. Jimmy, tell us about this from what time to what time when people can still come down here. What's going on? Tell us anything. Well, they're going to be setting up now. There will probably be more cars coming in. And, uh, 
these people love our country and we need to take our country back. We want to, you know, get lower prices on food. And, you know, they're telling us how they're going to be teaching our kids to do things in the school system. We need to take our country back. You know, it's, uh, it's out of control. And I'm going to bring you around then and we to different nationalities. And they love this country. I mean, so yeah, let, take me around, take me around, Jim. So let me show you guys how the place is. The place is packed. Hi, guys. I have a lot of people that follow us. I'm here to cover the event. I'm not here to support or oppose anyone. I believe that everyone has the right to articulate. So let's take this opportunity that people who are watching that might not be decided yet on who, why should they decide for the former president of United States? We're doing this because we support our country. Patriotism is the forefront of what our country stands for. And I just don't see it on the other side. We need to come together, we need to support each other, our neighbors, we come in peace, we don't come violently, and we support the president because of his values of America first. We have to make our country the best country in the world, because that's what we stand for and that's what we fought for. Our veterans died and sacrificed their lives so we could have the freedoms that America offers. And that seems to be taken away or starting to be shunned down freedom of speech. And it's to a point where we know what President Trump has offered, and we've seen what Kamala has done the past three and a half years, and the better choice is going to be Trump, because our country needs him. So now there is a lot of people watching this live, and uh, they might not be sure from what time to what time you guys are going to be here. You want to tell us? You want to tell them so if they want to still come down here, they know what time to what time? I'm going to say we're probably going to be here till about 2 p.m., if not longer. So, we guys, have plenty of time to get down. Okay, so let's imagine that they're going to be here until 1 p.m. Get dressed and come down here now, yeah. not later. 660 White Plains Road, Tarrytown. Make it down. Thank you, guys. And you got another man here. He's always speaking at the rally. How we doing, big guy? I'm doing good. Yourself? All right, my brother. Donnie Old School, 71 Haynes, Vietnam era veteran. Didn't have to go to Vietnam, but I was there. Thank you for your uh, service. Yo, thank you for thank being you. here, young man. Thank you. Uh, we're all family. I'm glad everybody showed up today. Yes. So tell us, why do you support the former president? I support the former president because when I was a young man back in the 80s, I used to be security for Call the Chief Williams of White Plains, Ronaldo Snipes, Yonkers, and Larry Holmes. So uh, uh, I walked the halls of Donald Trump's casinos with Don King and the boxers back in the 80s. And when Donald Trump sees that Donnie Haynes is still alive from Peekskill, New York, I'm sure that he'll want to get in touch with me because I've always been a supporter of Donald Trump, even when he was a young man. So now we're in our 70s, both of us, and I'm here to support him 110%. I know his heart. He's a good man. He's not what people are making him out to be. Here's my message to all the Christians, though. All the Christians out there that believe in this book right here and believe in God the Father, Jesus the Son, and don't know Donald J. Trump, is hating on him. There is no hate when you believe in this book right here. There is no hate. So we must get rid of the hate and save the nation that our ancestors set up for us to thrive on. That's what we need to do. So, again, I, I'm 71 years on the planet. Oh, I, I don't go no place. I don't go no place without this because I'm still playing ball at 71. Yeah. Everybody basically in Westchester know me. I'm the old school player that's still playing ball and still doing what I was doing when I was 19 and 20. Well, I but, can tell you one thing, man. You look very good for 71. But again, it starts with this. We must go back to this. This is important. We must go back to this. This not only tells you what the past was, but it also will show you what the future is. And we must support Israel 110%. We must not turn our backs on Israel. 
Okay, thank you very much. Jim, I, I gotta ask you, of all of us here, you probably were the one that actually met the former president the other day. How did they impact, impact you, Jim? Uh, put it this way, he rose my blood. I did work uh, in his buildings over the years, and he loves construction work. Like, I met him that day then, it was like a flash. Tell them, where, tell them where they can see the interview if they want to join. Yes, sir. So take me to somebody else. So look at this park and look at this park. I'm filming. Yeah, let me go back. I'm from a local community, and I believe that everyone should have a platform to articulate a point of view. You never know. Maybe somebody's listening and said they have a point. And then you get one more supporter. You have another guy here who likes to talk to you. Well, we just got to elect Trump. You got to get him in there. Donald's going to destroy our country. We all know it. But articulate why. Look, not everyone is going to agree with everyone. Sometimes, even at home, with our own wives. We don't always agree with our wives, right? Okay. But we always love them. So there might be people watching that might not agree with you, but if you are able to articulate why you agree... You may have the wrong guy for that. No, 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 I didn't finish. What I'm saying is maybe people that are listening to you might say you have a point. Maybe we need to support the former president. What I'm saying is articulate the whys. Policies were great. The economy was better during him, and uh, that's pretty much it. Trump's the way to go. So, if you want a better America, vote for Donald Trump. Have to. No other choice. No other choice. Thank you. How you doing, my guy? Why yeah. we do this? Well, you know what? We don't always agree with each other. When I say we, I don't mean myself. In general, I'm sure that the lady behind you is your wife? She is. She is. We husbands and wives don't always agree with each other. That's true. But we always love each other. That's why we're married, right? So there is lots of people that might be watching this rally through my life that might not be too pro-Trump, but maybe if they hear what you have to say, they might say, you know what, they might have a point, and they might be, you might be able to bring them towards you. Okay, so we, like, close borders, we, um, well, we, we want to be able to afford our food. The closed borders, the immigration is crazy. They're taking a lot of resources from Americans. And look, we are an immigrant country. We love the people to come. You got to do it the right way. And you got to take care of yourselves. Okay? Yeah, and, and at the end of it, we're all God's children, right? That, that's the bottom line. We, 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 God is our savior. And yeah, we can, can disagree. Even with Jesus who's walking the earth, people didn't, didn't disagree with that, but that's our Lord and savior. We, we're not about violence. We're about loving each other and caring for our country. That's the bottom line. And it, it's, it's sad to me that the country's divided, but we're at this point where it's very important to us right now because uh, we see what's happening. I mean, not for nothing, you have to be seeing you wonder not to see what's happening. You know what I mean? With all due respect to Stevie, I love Stevie. But, you know, we, we come, uh, my parents are immigrants from South America. I was, they raised some principles and they never took one cent from the government and they did it the right way.
And for that, I'm blessed. So let me touch on what you just said and what you just said about immigration. Let's make it clear that the people understand you are not against immigration. You are against the illegal immigration. The country was born on immigration. That's what makes our land beautiful. The problem is, it's so sad, the resources are so these people are living on the street. They're living on the street. That's not America. They need to go back, do it the right way, Okay, and then at least we can be prepared. Nobody is prepared for, for this. And so, it, it's kind of sad for everybody. So your message is, if you're going to come to the country, come through the legal way. Of course. We definitely come legally. Because the ones who aren't coming legally and are indebted are very dangerous. We have a lot of people out there who are terrorists, who hate America, they're coming from all over the world, and we need to protect ourselves. We need to vet these people before they come in, and unfortunately they weren't. So it, it's a little scary at this point, but... Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Love you, God. Thank you. Thank you. What's the name? Sophia. Thank you. 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 That's how it's going to go. Each verse starts with, let's make America great again. And then at the end of the song, we're going to do that again. Let's start. Uh, let's make it start with this. Fight, fight, fight. Why? 
Why should we fight and why should we vote for Donald Trump? For, on the we need our country back. Our country, we lost our country. We sold out. Our government's owned. China owns 90% of our government. You can't buy Trump. Trump's a success on his own. He doesn't need to do this. He had a better life. We're going to put him on a beach somewhere playing golf every day. He doesn't need to do this. He doesn't need people shooting at him, trying to kill him. For what reason? We had low inflation. We had peace. No new wars. And now look at everything, right? We've got wars breaking out. The danger of World War III. Inflation is crazy. Food prices, gas prices. We don't produce the energy we did. And... Kamala Harris is a Marxist, and if we want to go in that direction, there's going to be communism, there's going to be, it's going to not be the America that we love, and, and, and our freedoms are going to be gone, and we have to get Trump back in office. So Where's Joe everything. Biden? Where is Joe Biden? Does anyone know where Joe Biden is? Come on already, the guy's laying on the beach. Took more days off. In his in his term, that people take in their whole career. Where is this guy? They lied. He lied to us. He said he was the great. He was going to get the country back together. He's divided us more than anyone else. Who cares about skin color? Who cares about where you come on, from? Who cares about where you look like? We're all American. Let's be proud of being American. The American dream. We've lost the American dream under the Biden Harris administration, and now she paired up with us. Total whack job out of uh, out of Minnesota. He's in loss. He's oh, he's another one. He's been to China. Only been to China thirty times. He's been to China thirty times. Went to China on his honeymoon. Oh, you don't need that. Tampons and little boys' bathrooms. That's that's what they um, care about. So November fifth, we're going to have a decision to make. Okay, and there is lots of people out there that still not sure. Who they should vote for? Let's talk to them. Why should they go, for, you know, for Donald Trump? Trump was in office already. Four years. What did he do? He made the country better. He was safer. Our border was closed. He had remained in Mexico in place. Uh, we didn't have war breaking out. We had the Abraham Accords. We were going to have peace in the Middle East. We just needed another term. And look what they did. They stole the election out from under him. Thank you very much for your time. Where is Donna? She's going to be speaking in there? But where? She's going to be. Donna is going to be speaking next? Yeah, right after this.
through legal gun violence in 2015. I've been fighting with these politicians ever since. I have a son who is a county legislator who's doing an awesome job. I have another son who is a Yonkers police officer who just finished serving our country. He was over in Jordan. My son Nick, who is a shock steward for 456, the team stands. Um, listen. Kathy Hochul has been on the back of the ballot this year. Proposition 1. She's trying to make it all sound nice. You know, it's about abortion and protecting your rights. What Kathy Hochul and the rest of the Democrats are not telling you is they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about our kids. They're trying to allow boys to play in girls' sports, use their locker rooms, use their bathrooms. Try to tell parents it's none of your business if your child wants to transgender or whatever they want to do. It's not your business. It's ours. Well, I got a message for Kathy Hochul and the rest of her Democrats. Should they go screw themselves? Those are our kids, our grandchildren. We will fight to protect them. It is so important, not just this election, when you make your cast your vote for President Trump, that you vote the right people in for our Congress, for our senators, our assembly people. We don't stop here. We will fight until November 5th. And next year, when Kathy Hochul is up for her election for governor, You're we will fired. tell Kathy Hochul, fired. you are fired, fired, and we are ending bail reform, raise the age, less is more, clean slate, and we're going to protect our citizens. Let's go, patriots! Woo! Woo! Uh, Donnie Old School. We met him four years ago in Tarrytown. Incredible. You're gonna love this man here. Donnie, please come up and address these patriots. I better pledge allegiance. I'm a, 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 a patriots? This is my family. Yes. Oh, this is family right here. Yes. Every single last yes. one of you is my brothers and my sisters. Yes. Now, here's the most important message, and I come here straight from our Heavenly Father to deliver this message. This is what we gotta go back to. You see this right here? You see this book right here? This book not only tells you the past, but it also tells you the future. It also lets you know that Israel must be supported 110%. Nothing, nothing can happen to Israel. Before anything happens to Israel, our father, who's all our fathers, will come back and end all of this. So we must stay united. We must continue to love each other. I noticed that the planet is trying to get back something that we had when I was growing up. And that's a whole lot of love. Regardless of what color you was, we still was family and we still had love. I'm 71 years on the planet. Woo! I'm 71 years on the planet. I take this everywhere I go because everybody in Westchester basically know me. The kids do. The kids know me well. I'm the old school basketball player. And it's not a question of whether I can keep up with the young people. It's a question of whether they can keep up with me. Yeah. So where did I get this incredible supernatural strength from? Here's where I get my supernatural strength from. Amen. And here's what I'm saying to every single person that's in the sound of my voice right now. And here's what I'm guaranteeing you. Regardless of what kind of sickness, regardless of what kind of situation you're in financially, regardless of any trials or tribulations that you're going through right now. And me and my wife for 51 years, we've buried every single relative that grew older and we took care of them. Here's what I'm asking you guys to do though. I'm asking you to take your Bible. And if you don't have one, I'll give you one. But take your Bible and every night, I need you to take it and put it underneath your pillow and sleep with it. Sleep with the Bible underneath your pillow. I got kids that's coming to me that I tell this to on the basketball court that say to me, old school, I don't have no more nightmares no more. I'm having beautiful dreams. I got kids that's telling me, old school, I wake up in the middle of the night and I open it up and I actually read what I open up to. But this is what we need to come back to, family. This is, this is a very important book right here. And here's something else too I want you guys to know. There is life after death. I've seen it. If you watch the movie Ghost, 
it kind of reminds me of what I saw when I had my heart mama at Westchester County Grasslands back in the day at 16 years old. They didn't give me a chance to be here. They said, whoever's coming to pray for him, they need to do it now. He's not going to be here in the morning. The next morning, I must have had 50 doctors outside my room at Westchester County Grasslands checking the heart that was brand new. Three years later, I joined the U.S. Marine Corps, and out of 400 guys, I graduate number one out of my class. When you, when you, when you graduate, when you graduate number one out of Marine Corps boot camp, Power Island, you get special assignments that you do that we're not even going to talk about. But I do have to say this: if we go back, then if you do this, just do this, just do this for me. Take this book, put it underneath your pillow every night, and I promise you, life. From here on in, it's going to be fantastic. And that's all I can say, man. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, uh, it's been about four years, I think, since we did the last rally. And we did it in Tarrytown, and we rode all through Westchester, and we ended up in Spring Valley. But I just want you all to know one thing, and this is important. We are all brothers and sisters on this planet, regardless of what color you is. We are all family. This book... Says that. In other words, our Father created all of us in His likeness. We all look like Him in a certain way. And I want you to really understand this. There is life after death. How we treat each other determines whether we go to that good place or whether we go to that bad place. And one other thing that I really need, look, I know Donald J. Trump personally, okay? I, I spent a lot of time with Donald J. Trump in the 80s walking the halls of his casinos side by side with Don King and Donald Trump, Carla Truth Williams from uh, White Plains, New York, uh, 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 Ronaldo Snipes from Yonkers, and Larry Holmes from Eastern Pennsylvania. Donald Trump has a heart of gold. I'm going to tell you that straight up. Regardless of what he did as a young man to upset certain corporations or certain people, he is not that guy today. He is totally working for all of us. And we must stand behind him and make this thing happen the way it needs to happen. I'm going to say this because it's important that I say this. Donald Trump not only won the first election that he did, he won the second one. And over 100 million people, when I go through South Carolina in that tractor trailer, and the billboard says... Donald J. Trump got over 100,000, 100 million votes. He did. Donald J. Trump won that second election. They figured out a way how to steal it, and we can't let them do that this time. We can't let them do that. Okay? So, again, to all my brothers and sisters out here, because you are my brothers and sisters, and God created you like he created me. The hate must stop. Oh, and one last thing. To all the Christians that are the same, that's talking the talk but not walking the walk, God don't teach no kind of hate. There is no hate in God's eye for none of us. The hate must stop. It's got to stop now in order for us to save the nation that our ancestors left us. We have a great nation. And our enemies have figured out a way to destroy okay, us. Okay, hurry up because I'm about to get on feet. Oh, he's about to speak? And within destruction of our nation, we can't let that happen. And we must fight. So let him know that fight. I'm about to finish. That's what we must do. Yes. Oh, also, I want to say this. I go into a lot of neighborhoods where people look just like me when, and I wear this everywhere I go, basically. When I go into the, the neighborhood, ain't nobody never tried to come and hurt me. Or, or stop me from doing what I'm doing because again I'm 71 years on the planet and they truly believe in what I'm saying again this book right here the most important book this is the most important book right here on the planet and if you put this underneath your pillow every night and you got a little sickness going on in your life guess what it can be it can be healed it can, I'm, I'm, I had prostate cancer I'm involved in the Camp Lejeune yes, water issue. I got a couple of teeth that fell out. They want to fix it. Now, forget all of that. Forget all of that. I'm, I'm living for the go and be with our father because I'm going to live again. 
And I totaled out my little yellow Corvette at 140 miles an hour in Peekskill in 2002 and walked away. But that's a gift from God, okay? Again, like I said, the most important message that I can give everybody here right now, because this is not about me, it's about the nation that our father gave us. And if you see my shirt all the way, you want me to introduce somebody else? Yeah. One nation, one nation. This is one nation under God. And where do we go off course? Because we love everybody. We try to bring others They're here gonna be speaking to, to celebrate life. We try to do that. So and that's all I can say, man. Right. Save our nation. Thank you, sir. God bless you. May God bless you. Absolutely incredible, Donnie. Before Scott plays another song, guys, I thank you all for coming. October 13th. October 13th, we're going to have a huge start right here at Rally like four years ago. October 13th, it's a Sunday. We start here. It's going to be a little better route. Food trucks will be at Playland. DJs, Donnie, Scotty, we're all going to be there. October 13th, next one. No food trucks, I apologize. Yvonne is going to say some words, and then we got Scotty playing us out. Thank you all for coming. Yvonne. Hey everyone, how's everyone today, okay? I'm going to talk about something that I feel is extremely important, banking your vote. Okay? So many people do not know that New York State has early voting. And it's imperative that we bank our vote early. We need to pivot and change. I know as Republicans and conservatives, we usually go the day of voting because it's our tradition, you bring your children and they vote for you, but we need to pivot and change. And you need to vote early to bank your vote. Okay, I have a form here. Early voting starts October 26th through November 3rd. I have forms I'm happy to give out. It gives the dates and times. There are 26 voting centers in Westchester County. Do not wait for November 5th. Okay? It's important that you also bring someone new to get registered. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's too late to register. It is not too late to register. So if you know someone that is not registered, they have until October 26. I have registration forms here. If you don't want to come up now and get them, you can get them in private. I'm more than happy to give registration forms. That is really, really important. Those with children who are turning 18, okay, and if they're out of state, my daughter is out of state, she filled out an absentee ballot. I have absentee ballots here. If you have children that are out of state, they need to fill one out immediately, and they need to be turned in by October 26. The other thing, if you, want, if you don't want to go into the polls, you can early vote by mail. I also have that form here. So there is no way that you cannot say, well, I can't vote. There are multiple ways that you can vote as an American citizen. And it's really important that you speak to your friends and family about baking your vote. I, I can't stress enough because the seeds are, have been planted by the DHS. Okay, They're talking about a DDoS attack on the 5th of November. For those of you who don't know what a DDoS attack is, it's a hack. So they want to hack into the systems. I don't know what's happening, but they're planting a seed. They're planting a narrative. This is why we must vote early. Bring your relatives. If someone cannot drive, offer to drive them to the voting booth and help them out. Help our neighbors. Republicans win when we vote early. So if you need forms, I have them. Just come up to me. I have absentee ballot forms. I have early ballot mailings. I have registration forms. You can register up until October 26th. So for those with children who are turning 18, October 18th, they can vote in this election. The last thing I want to say is, Donna spoke about it as well. Proposal one, I also have forms. I'm happy to give them out. Moms and dads, I cannot tell you how many moms and dads do not know about proposal one. I've been in the education advocacy for the last 15 years. I started with Common Core, that's how I got my start, um, fighting against Common Core. Okay? 
This proposal is a Trojan horse. You need to talk to your friends who have children, who have grandchildren. This is, they're touting it as an equal opportunity amendment. So everything under the umbrella is included that we don't want. Think about Riley Gaines. You all know who Riley Gaines is. So we're talking about boys who want to be girls and go into the locker room and, and you know, our girls' sports are in jeopardy. We fought so hard for women's suffrage so we can vote and have a voice and they're turning back the clock. It's insane. So we need to protect our girls. Proposal 1 also erodes parental consent. So anyone who has a child or grandchildren, come up to me, I'll give you a form, and we need to make sure we vote no. October, and that's all I have to say. October 13th, mark your calendars. New York Drag, the Interstate is a Facebook group I started in, back in 2016. If you're not part of the group, join it. New York Drag, the Interstate, and that's where we post all the rallies and everything, statewide as well. God bless. Have a good Saturday. We'll see you October 13th. Right. That woman is a patriot. This is a fighter. I've never seen anything like her. Guys, before Scotty sings, we have one more guest. Trump Force One. He's got a million prisoners, uh, whatever. He's got a million or something. Trump Force 